Uh, welcome back to my channel, Daisy Rosa here, and I'm back in the building. But you guys, literally, literally, today is January 1st, so happy new year, everybody. But I'm literally just finishing up my makeup. Today is a crazy, crazy day. Today is the day... Tonight, actually, at 12 a.m., me and Leo are going on our anniversary trip. Five, five year anniversary trip. And so we're leaving at 12 a.m. to get to the airport by um, That's crazy, man. 3 o'clock to check in. 3 a.m., by the way. Then we have to f leave at 5 a.m. And then we'll get to Colorado at like 7 or 8, maybe 9 a.m. the latest. And then we're going to go check into our Airbnb. And we're just going to have the best vacation ever. And you guys, I also have an interview today at EOS. Uh, so that's at 5.30. Right, right now, what I'm mainly focusing on is getting ready, ready so that I can fits. go and get a luggage from my grandma's house, get some breakfast in me, come back, pick out all the outfits I'm going to wear. You Get all of my travel you, you know? necessities because I'm going to need them for today. And yeah, then we should be good and locked in. <laughs> we literally just made it to you my grandma's house. Yes, I do. Uh, we just made it to my grandma's house, y'all. And we're literally about to get off and get some luggage and some breakfast. And I'm also going to ask my grandma if she has anything that I could wear for like my under stuff. Like... I need to wear like lots of leggings, lots of like shirts, like under my clothes. So I'm gonna ask her if she has that too, but I don't know if she does. Coming the next day to your grandma's house and her having the leftovers and making it with breakfast eggs. Mm -hmm. And then they have bread. So what you do is you put your meat on there, the brisket, that's really yummy. Then you put your little huevito on there. Yeah. And then you go like this. <laughs> okay. Um, One eternity later. Hey y'all, it is much, much later. I literally have my freaking luggage here now. So I literally need to pack it up right now. Um, I'm literally just about to put like all of my essentials that need to go in here. I need to pack underwears bras all of that i literally only have in here is this that my cousin packed like from the last trip so i'm gonna leave this in here this is body wash and shampoo so i just need to buy conditioner and lotion the first shirt that i'm gonna take um i'm basically taking like outfits and stuff and like layers so i'm gonna take this shirt um this is a really cute shirt that i got like oh, not too long ago it has like little holes in it it's a long sleeve it didn't stick so i'm gonna go ahead and take this oh, as soon as i get this part oh well, it is currently 12 a.m oh actually 12 10 a.m i've started to get tired starting to get tired but it's okay but anyways this is my outfit of the day for the airport i'm gonna wear this yeezy sweater and then i'm gonna wear these sweatpants that i got from the target and then my uggs and because i didn't put this in my luggage i have to wear it with me on the plane and then i can take it off but i need to take my puffer so then i'm gonna just stack my puffer on top and put my hoodie on the top as well and we're ready to go i'll probably put my hair up once i'm at the airport <sighs> it's okay and i don't know if i said this already but yeah i got a job today so period I'm just gonna put some of this origin creams to kind of make me look less sleepy in case I see any of you guys in Colorado or at the airport in LA. I need to be prepared. Me acting like I'm famous, like I'm Kelly Jenner, I'm not even her. But anyways, I feel like this cream 
just illuminates so well. <laughs> um, you guys are gonna be going in my little camera bag that I got from Amazon right here with me. And then I got my bag right here. Ready to go. And I have my AirPods. I mean my AirPods, my beats connected right here. I got all my stuff ready. I won't carry my bag, I'll probably take it with me on my luggage. But yeah guys, we got Leo over here. He's doubled suited up. I'm wearing the double sweatpants. I'm wearing the double sweatpants because we need to make some space. I got on the dark sport hoodie and then just a shirt under, but I'm also gonna throw on my puffer jacket right yeah, now. Yeah, he's gonna put his puffer jacket. Because it's the biggest thing in my luggage, unfortunately. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear packing, that? Packing, packing for this trip versus packing for Mexico, no, literally, way different. Packing for Rosarito versus packing to go to freaking Colorado where it's snowy as hell is like a complete different atmosphere. We literally just boarded the plane. Um, literally in the plane right now. Um, it was kind of stressful, honestly, finding our way around it, but finally figured it out. So I'm literally just gonna put music on and try to get some sleep. We have a three hour flight. So, yeah, and the old pants it would be. He's all the way back there. The biscuit already. It's okay, I'll see him in three hours. It's a bit outside. I got the window seat. I was 30 at Oh my god, we're going Good morning, to Denver, Colorado. Five hours later. Guys, literally we made it to Colorado, you guys. You can literally see my breath. It is so beautiful. The weather, like, oh my gosh. We literally went through a subway to get out of the airport. Went through a subway to get out of the airport. And now we are pretty much waiting for our lift to come. But I'll talk to you guys once we're in there. Either in the Uber or we're already at the Airbnb. It's like 20 minutes away from the airport. So it's perfect. But yeah, guys. We literally just made it out. So period. Um, yeah. Hello, <laughs> you guys, this is our MTV Chris. We got a fridge, a microwave, we got coffee. I'm gonna need a coffee right now, bro. We got a little table that we can put up so we can eat together, a little kitchen, a cutting board. Um, there's two doors over here. Is the restroom over here, Ben? Okay, perfect. This is the restroom. This is what she's giving. Then we come this way, and we have a two-seater couch for me and Lear. Then this is where our baby's gonna be conceived, so we're gonna get pregnant. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyways, this is where we're gonna sleep. This is the mirror, and then there's like drawers and stuff. There's things where we can put away things. And yeah, guys, it is currently 9.30. Yeah, I literally, we just got out of the shower. I did my hair. This is what I'm wearing so far. I have to add a sweater on top, a puffer jacket, um, a scarf, and a beanie. This is Leo's outfit. All right, we got the, we got the dark sport. We got the dark sport high tops. We got the shock aware, the shock aware brown corduroy pants. We got the RBX thermal underneath because my brother my brother got me that for uh for christmas and we need it because it's cold as hell um i got the pro club under for just layering uh polo ralph lauren retro bomber jacket zip up and i just thought i forgot my makeup so you have to put all the liquids in one of these bags and then i put all my brushes and powders in this bag so yeah but we found everything, so we good. 
we're just gonna do the quickest little makeup beat to ever exist and yeah so we're gonna go in with some elf halo glow um yeah guys but we literally like we left freaking lax at like 3 a.m we actually went to delta airlines for some reason we thought it was delta but in reality it wasn't delta it was freaking um united so we kind of fumbled on that a little bit but it's okay because we still ended up being able to make it right on time to united right on time to board and like everything like that and then we went through tsa one of our water bottles got taken because we were supposed to finish the water by the time we got to tsa but then we actually forgot in one of our backpacks so they literally just threw it away so i'm kind of thirsty hungry all of that and more but let's look at peanut butter on my face um but yeah guys so like we're just trying to get ready really fast so we can just go eat somewhere real quick um and stuff follow me on tiktok and instagram because i've been posting a lot of more videos and just like little videos here and there and stuff if you guys want to like check that out so i have to come a little closer to y'all so i can do my eyebrows um because i'm using this as a camera i mean as a mirror instead of going to the restroom like a normal person i'm doing it right here for some reason Just a light little makeup look. I'm not gonna go in depth with the brows today. I think my makeup's a little funky or a little wonky because of the of the flight. Like the gel is kind of like weird to be honest, but whatever. Let me go to the mirror at least for my eyebrows because I don't want my eyebrows to look bad today. Um, let me see. Is there need a close up of the brow? But I cannot believe me and Leo flew to Colorado on our own. Like, that is actually insane. Like, we've never, like, have flown anywhere alone together. And you guys, we didn't even get to sit on the same freaking seats next to each other. So that was also a little bit different. Because usually when I do fly with my family, we always, like, sit next to each other. So that was a little different. Um, I don't know how come we didn't end up sitting next to each other. Like... How the tickets like got like that because i'm pretty sure we paid to sit next to each other when the lady was asking us when we were booking the flight to begin with but i don't know so with that being said um there's that my eyebrows are all finished now and now we can take our trusty beauty blender and just start blending and and my eyebrows look so good right now. The lighting in here is bomb.com. Like, oh my god. Bomb.com. But, yeah, y'all. It's really freaking cold over here. So, yeah. But there's not really too much snow. Like, I thought it was going to be covered in snow every single place. Like, we went that it was going to be kind of like hard to walk kind of vibes. But it really isn't. Like, it's literally just a little bit of snow. And it's just really kind of cold. Like, no snow, snow, you know. But I'm just glad that there's no blizzards. Because I really thought that we would run into that problem. Because a lot of people were saying, like, oh, around this time, Colorado has, like, lots of blizzards but for some reason we came in a perfect time where there literally is no blizzard so i'm like that works for me so yeah but i don't know where we're gonna eat i think we're gonna just eat somewhere like walking distance because we're not trying to like go and get another uber super far and then we do want to go to the dispensary because we do want to try some colorado 420 friendly because um i don't know if you guys know but i do um i am 420 friendly sometimes not all the time um but yeah sometimes i do indulge in a little bit of a, a relaxation time and i think there's nothing wrong with that if you do too girl by all means go ahead but yeah um so we're gonna go ahead and do that and just eat and then come back probably like you know just chill and stuff like i'm telling you guys i am so tired like literally so we didn't go to sleep yesterday so we literally knew that we had to be 
at LAX at 3 a.m. Okay, so we literally stayed up until like 1. We started driving to Lino's house, which is Lino's cousin um, who lives in LA, and he dropped us off at the airport and he took Leo's car with him back to his house to like um, watch it for like the week or whatever. And then um, we ended up finding out that we actually went to the wrong place instead of going to United, we actually went to Delta Terminal 3 and United is Terminal 7. So we had to get catch a shuttle really quick and then we were able to get there and then United didn't even open their gates until like, um, like 345 I think that's when they're like oh we're gonna open the gates and like all this stuff and start letting people into TSA and like all that so we were in line but we didn't really know where to go because my cousin already told me like oh you don't have to check in you don't have to check in like you literally just need to go straight to TSA so we were trying to find where the right TSA was we were trying to find like all of that stuff out and then we were also just wanting to make sure that we were like in the right spot um, our luggages didn't even get like weighed. I don't know if it, when they go through TSA if they get weighed. I'm not sure how it works, but like yeah, nothing really happened. Just our water got taken, um, and that's it. And then as soon as it's we went through TSA, we started boarding like at 4:20 ish or something or like 4. <laughs> and then um, after that, I don't know why that was so funny, but then um, after that. Yeah, we boarded kind of early and we were gonna ask the person who was like sitting next to leo like do you think that i can sit next to him and like we switch seats but we didn't end up just doing that we were just like you know what we're adults let's just tough it out like it's literally just a quick little ride like it's fine so yeah Dude, that's what we did people on the plane were already being ops bro like really i was like like i was kind of like i don't know what to do i don't know where to put my bag like kind of standing there and then the worker is like, the worker is like, what are you trying to do? Like, cause she just saw me looking around and like, she's like, what is it that you're trying to do? And oh I'm my like, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're like, I'm just trying to put my back up. Well, you basically, wherever it says that you're seating or whatever, you just put it like, you put it there. Like you just put it like right on top. And then the other people put theirs like also right there. But yeah, it could get confusing because Leo literally has only ever flown a plane once, right? And it was with me. And it was like also at the crack booty call of dawn. And we really like had never really, like we were with my grandma. So like when we're with my grandma, bro, we're travel princesses. Like my grandma's doing everything. Brian is doing everything. Like we're not doing anything. So this time it wasn't travel princesses vibes. It was Daisy and Leo need to figure it out vibes. And then Leo just kept asking me questions and I'm like, boy, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Um, but we ended up just like asking people and following people around kind of. And then um, we ended up just like figuring it out. But yeah and then when we went to colorado we literally drove our like road in like a little subway um kind of vibe um and that was cool so like, like to get out of the airport you had to go in like a little um subway to like get to the top so then you, so your uber can come pick you up or like whoever your resort place that you're staying at like wherever you're staying they have to come pick you up because i know a lot of people come out here for skiing and then they'll come and then they're like skiing like company or whatever like resort that they're staying at will come and get them and stuff so like i feel like it was kind of like it was like that little drop off section where we got picked up at um our uber was pretty chill they didn't really talk at all yeah guys we literally just showered and now i'm just finishing up my makeup my quickest makeup of my life really quick um i love doing my makeup okay now i'm gonna go in with my huda beauty i literally want to be sponsored by huda like please sponsor me please invite me to your next um little party of pr party like please like i love your stuff i will literally like yeah i will literally just yeah i buy all of this all the time um i'm gonna put this everywhere bro you know what i want to be sponsored by too by nyx nyx has such good stuff and um y'all yeah, sponsor me i'm on the come up 
y'all i just can't believe that me and leo really came out here and traveled because i feel like there's so many people that are like oh yeah like we want to travel we want to do this we want to do that and it never leaves the chat like it never leaves the chat but me and leo are the type of people where like it leaves the chat you know what i'm saying like we if we say chat, if we right? say we're gonna we do something right it, it left the chat it, like th that's what I'm saying though like I feel like a lot of people say that they like to travel and stuff but in reality like they don't like they say that they do or like they say that there's something that they would want to do but yet they make no zero effort to like going into traveling or you know like going into this experience or searching it up or trying it out like you know what I'm saying um but yeah and I'm gonna go with my Morphe um bronzer and I'm just gonna quickly give myself a little bronzy moment quick quick other sign okay y'all let's put my outfit on together so first things first we're gonna put on this steep madden little hat how bomb we look just look how bomb we look guys look at my outfit i look so cute i look perfect Let's for the back. winter vibes this is gonna be my bag for today you already know my little steve madden bag but i mean steve madden it's kate space but look at my steve madden beanie and my little scarf thanks nana thanks nana you know the vibes Warm. okay give me you see them? <laughs> let me see what happened okay you guys leo's gonna show you what we got at the dispensary, yeah. and we're actually pretty. I'm pretty high right now. Okay, so this is what Daisy got, got. from the dispensary. <laughs> so I got their stuff. So, oh my god, I almost freaking landed to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got these okay. wild sour, like little gummies. I had about, um, I had about four. You had four. Damn. And I feel like if I would have taken What else did I get I from there? Four. What else did I get from there? And you guys, then I got these Mez little joints. So, yeah. Guys, we came to this restaurant called Rupers. And they have Eggs Benedict. They have Hash It Over. They have a bunch of stuff with scrambled eggs. Burritos. Hi. Hello. How are you? The food finally came. Well, it actually was really fucking fast, actually. Never not say that. <laughs> but I got eggs Benedict and it has pulled pork and then I got potato cakes. Leo got grits. Um, I got grits, hot cakes. How's and the eggs? truffle eggs? Do you They're taste truffly? I mean I don't I know. I can kinda smell truffly. Oh you don't know what the truffle The grits are pretty good tastes though. Like. It tastes like Okay, let's try the potato cakes. They're good as fuck. Mmm. Hell yeah. Yeah, we have not eaten and it's like 2 o'clock. We haven't mm. eaten since like 7 o'clock yesterday. Let me cut that Benedict so you guys can see. Yeah, I want to try that. <gasps> oh my god, it's literally all runny. <laughs> That's how it is. I've never eaten this, guys, so. Oh, so you didn't know? I'm trying something new today. Very new. Let's put some ketchup. Let's put some Cholula on there. And let's do a bite of this egg Benedict. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, this is right up my alley. I love the, the corn cake on the bottom. Mmm. It literally tastes like machaca with like egg and corn cake. The corn cake is giving like tortilla. Bomb bomb. Are you gonna have my fork back? Thanks, Pepe. Wow. The 
the flavors. I are, never eat runny egg. It kind of tastes like, like a tamale, bro. I like never eat runny egg like this. This is crazy. I'm really, really trying something new, guys. And it's delicious. Wow, look at what new things can give you. We're gonna enjoy our food, but we'll talk to you guys later. One eternity later. Which one? Oh, my friends recommended me one. It's called like Hotel or something. Hotel A or something like that. What's it called? Um, you guys, we just got back from a walk. Wait, what happened, Babich? Oh, I was going to say we should watch the um, Leave the World Behind one. Yeah, we can watch hella movies this time. Like, we have time, you know? Um, okay, guys, so <sighs> we literally just came back from a walk and everything like that. I just want to show you a quick little food. Holly bought us some bomb food. Thanks, Bebe, for dinner. Thanks, Beb, for dinner. Sorry, Beb. <laughs> I'm really tired. Anyways, we got some garlic naan. We got some, like, sauce. We got green sauce. And we got this sauce. I don't know which one this one's called. I think it's some type of... Is this the one that's, like, the... The one that's made with Greek yogurt. I don't think it's tzatziki. Oh, not tzatziki. I think it's we like, got it might be like garlic masala, paste. Spicy. Oh, my boyfriend knows me so well. But you ask for spicy or that's how it comes? I ask for spicy. Oh my god. Mm, I love you. It was like super spicy, but I didn't know how Oh no, spicy is good because they're they season very well. Oh my god, look at the samosas. Can you guys see that? It's huge. This looks delicious. Oh, babe, what did you get? Spicy too? I got spicy. Curry or what? A spicy butter chicken or some chicken. Butter chicken. So you see the red difference? This one's chicken tikka masala and this one's a butter chicken. I have never tried butter chicken. Or right, maybe I have. I don't know. And then there's just... This little thing, I think this is the rice, I'm guessing, right? Or what? Mm -hmm. they, they really wrap this up. Mm -hmm. Beb, did you ever see the Elvis movie? Mm -hmm. You guys, we finished watching Avatar. Mm -hmm. I have not seen the Elvis movie, but... Then you should be happy to know Oh my sure gosh. OMG. Look at how much rice they gave us. How much was this? You from New York? Look at all this rice. That comes with both of ours? I guess so. We have this really cheesy naan, so I'm gonna get some chicken tikka masala. It's called garlic cheese naan, but like they ain't slick, bro. It's low key just a quesadilla. All right, guys, let's go in and taste test. Mm. That is so good. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely have had better though. For the none? No, mine is way spicy. I really like the chicken. Um, I think it's a good amount of chicken. This was a lot of chicken that they gave. To be honest, don't you think? Like we both got a good amount of chicken. Yeah. Um, the non. Yeah, I could have been less like yeah quesadilla, -y, but it's still really yummy. Let me try the butter chicken. I think it was if it was fresh, it would have been beaster. But you no, know, the chicken is good. It's so good, and the sauce is like the perfect consistency. But this is banging. Got a samosa for you guys. I put some sauce already on it. Cheers. That's gaseous. That's great. What does this sauce and this sauce taste like? I taste them. They're really good. Um, this is like a sweeter one. It's a little more tangy.
Hey guys, literally every day is just better and better. So today, we literally, also guys, they have like a little white noise thing and you can hear like wood and fire like you're in a cabin. So vibes. Um, but if you don't follow me on TikTok, we've been posting a lot on TikTok. So I'll go ahead and put my app right here and show you guys a little, bit, a little snippet. But yeah, we also went to a museum today. We went to the Illusions Museum in Denver, Colorado. I believe they also have one in LA, but we never went been to the one in LA and we came to the one out here. And tomorrow we're gonna go to another museum and it's called the Meow Wolf Museum in Denver, Colorado. So if y'all have not checked those places out, go ahead and give those a look. Cause so far they've been so fun. I'm gonna insert some pictures that we took at the Illusions Museum right here. Um, but yeah, I think so far has been really good. Hi guys, it's literally Thursday. I wanna show a quick OOTD of the day. I'm literally wearing this super cute little um, earmuffs that I got at Five Below. I'm wearing this cute little sweater that my suegra gave me for Christmas. And then I'm wearing my Levi pants that I wore already, and then my um, I got some white Converse with black. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the makeup. Um, hold on, show my my makeup really quick. Cute little cold girl makeup look. Okay, Bab, go ahead, show your outfit. Hi, OOTD. Again, I gotta have the dark sport high top because I could only bring one pair of shoes because we're not lucky enough to afford any more carry-on bags. Um, I got the Pro Club white t-shirt underneath. I have the thermals again. I have the Levi 501 OG gray oversized look and then I got the Supreme quarter zip face map pretty polar tech. Wow. Are you ready to go to the museum today? Yes, I'm ready to go right now. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll check back later. Uh, I'll record more at the place and everything like that. But I'm not going to take my camera. I'm going to take my phone. I'll take my camera on our anniversary dinner and, like, another time. <laughs> Y'all, it is officially Saturday. Yeah. I'm so good. But anyways, guys, it's Saturday. Let me show you my little outfit. Check. I'm wearing this really Bev, cute. I love your outfits, you, man. You're so good. Outfit? Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm wearing. Ah, I'm wearing this scarf that my grandma gave me from TJ Maxx. I'm wearing this little sweater that my boyfriend got me from Target. I'm wearing this is thrifted. Where can I see? Or is it in selfie oh, it's, mode? It's in selfie. Um. Then this is thrifted. Uh, my grandma got me this at TJ Maxx. My boyfriend got me this at Target. I got these at Hollister. Um, these are Uggs, and yeah, that's the hat for the day. All right, now my turn, damage. Okay. All right, my outfit for today is a little bit more tame, but it's still fire. All right, so we got the dark sport T-shirt underneath, just for a little bit of a detail. Um, the young LA sweatpants, because we're going comfortable today. My thermals, um, the Target. The target. Gray, you got this really nice jacket at Target. Honestly, at first, I, I was Look at like, guys inside. I didn't. At first, I didn't really fuck with it because it was so simple. Because usually my outfits are pretty loud, but um, I I don't know. I kind of like it. Just I'm a little it's more tame, clean. and I really like how you did this. And then, um, really what's it called? Up. Especially uh, because I'm like gonna start designing my pants and stuff. I think it would be something plain great to go with like one of those pants that has like designs and stuff down here. You know what I'm saying? Or I kind of want to put something on the back. I thought about putting some words right here or right here, but I kind of don't want to kill it. I'll probably put some words or a design on the back and yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is officially like our second to last day literally tomorrow is like our last day and then we leave on what day is it um babe what day is it today okay guys so today is friday and today we're gonna go ice skating so we're gonna show you the ice skating ring and everything like that 
um i want to show you my outfit of the day and i want leo to show his outfit of the day i also just want to show you guys like how beautiful it is out here and it is cold it is cold baby it's cold um yeah it's like 30 something degrees right now um i've been just taking like lots of little pics everywhere and stuff i'm wearing this super cute outfit i want to show you guys so bad i just like love my outfit right now really feeling myself i've been feeling myself on this trip like i packed like such good clothes like all the clothes that i've been wearing are exactly like how i want to feel on this trip and i really feel like the outfits that you choose um dictate kind of how you feel you know so yeah there's like little patches of snow and stuff in certain places that are like extra cold um but i got this hat thrifted gloves tj maxx leather jacket thrifted i also have to have another vest under just because it is that cold my freaking hair keeps getting on my dang lip gloss and it's really aggravating me <laughs> like what the heck but anyways i got this vest also thrifted um this shirt i got on amazon i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it if you follow me on instagram um but yeah shades target bag kate spade i'm wearing these leather pants these are from hollister and i got my docks on and then we have leo over here right now we are going to be taking public transportation we are going to be taking the bus um to the ice skating rink and then we're gonna go ice skating might get a little coffee or something down there at a cool little coffee shop um but we are not eating dinner until like pretty later so you might get like a little snack but literally that's it um we might get this pass where we can go to like a few museums or like little places and it's all included in a pass so we might do that but we'll see we'll keep you guys posted we were supposed to go to the meow wolf we didn't end up going to that because it just i don't know we just ended up not going we wanted to just chill and do like something else but yeah guys these glasses are really coming in clutch like it you guys have already seen it before but i mean like bro Air Force Ones have been cool every single year because it doesn't go out of style, bro. Like, so I'm wearing the jacket again because it's hard. I'm wearing the Shockerwear oversized t-shirt again because it's a staple. I'm wearing the compressions again because it's cold. Uh, I got on the Walmart belt that my dad probably got for me. And then the Dickies uh, OG oversized though i get i get my waist size is like 32 but i get size like 36 so it's oversized and then uh the amazon ski mask because it's cold and, it's drip, and my hair looks like shit so yeah you guys we just got the boots leo got the boots he got the tunes. He got the ice skating tunes. That was kidding. Oh, but yeah, guys, we're about to go on this huge ice skating ring. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Did you see those people eat shit? No. But you guys, I'm ready to go. We suited up booty. We left our stuff here. I'm gonna finish my coffee, so I'm just more energized. It's a bad idea. I got a brown sugar spice. Do you huh? think there's a possibility that I break my phone or something? No, we're going to stay on the walls. Mm -hmm. All right, Until go. we feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. I went to this coffee shop called Little Finch. Mm -hmm. Super good. Now we're going to start it off. Oh my god. I'm scared. I'm scared. Dude, I haven't been ice skating in so long. I used to go with my cousins all the time because my cousins love the ice skating ring. Um, the one in Cathedra City. If you guys are from the valley, you will know. Um, yeah, but my cousin used to love going to the ice skating ring and she would have all her parties there. So that's like the only time I would go. I'd go like once a year to the ice skating ring. Or twice a year because her sister would also have her parties there. <laughs> But literally, that's the only time. Dude, look, he's oh okay. 
there's literally, literally little kids that are like pros at ice skating. Dude, his we suck. So we're gonna let y'all go until we feel comfortable. And then once we do feel comfortable, then we'll we'll get off the wall. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, go Ben. Guys, Leo's a professional already. I suck. Go, Bev, go. Hey. Guys, this is so beautiful and fun. We're just having so much fun. I feel like I don't even have my shoes on right now. There's people that are just professional, bro. I think I'm going to get any one of those. I think I should get me one of those. If I Two seconds later. Look, they have this doggy boutique and spa. You take your dog there. Huckleberry. So this is like the mall area. These are the shopping centers. Ooh, they have some nice coats in there. Look, there's a sale in here too. Look, this isn't even done. Get about to go under some construction. They have trees everywhere, y'all. Look how pretty that tree was. Yeah. I love you, baby. I love Isn't you, too. Crazy right now? It looks a little crazy. Y'all, I was actually going to get a dog the other day from the pound, a little Yorkie. But we ended up deciding um, not to get it after all. Just because we were like, you know what? Like... We're not ready for a dog right now, and it is what it is. <laughs> so, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait to get a dog, right, Beb? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna wait to get one, y'all. You guys, we just went to this place. It's called Soda Pop and Candy Shop. We got some goodies. It's super freaking dope. Soda Pop and Candy Shop. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So I got a cranberry apple toffee. Um, Leo got these zero sugar gummies. I got this to take back to my sister. It's a Naruto um, like ramen gummy kit. You gotta make it in there or something. And then I got these for my cousin, Brianna. She likes like po Pokey, Pocky. Is it Pocky? Let me know if I'm saying it right. And then it has like little tiny like little things on it. So I think that was cool. And then I also got her this. It's like a bunch of little rocks. Pocket of Fizz Rocks Mine. And I got her like a bunch. We also got like other people some. So I got Branna this one. And this one. I got my mom this one. This purple one. And a rose quartz for good luck and love and fortune and all that. And then we got one of these for Nano and I think these are for Nano too. The blue ones. Um, and yeah. So put them back in the bag. Oh, I got another one too. That was rose quartz. I love rose quartz. Um, but yeah, now we just finished ice skating and everything. We're probably gonna go. Where are we gonna go, baby? Mm. Let's try cranberry apple toffee. Definitely worth nineteen cents. 
one eternity later. Guys, I got a Kiki Freakly lemon drop. You already know that's one of the signature cheers, yeah. They gave us buffalo. Oh, it's for these. You guys, our deep dish pizza king. This is the chicken and sausage deluxe. So it has sausage, chicken, mushrooms, spinach. I like a lot of spice, y'all. You know what's crazy? I thought it was going to be super doughy, but it's like, it's like a thin crust. And then we're gonna get some of this. Is it good, Bubba? Super good. It's flaky. There's a dance floor, we're dancing? Yeah. Where's the dance floor? What's this place? Oh, this is like a... Mucho, a Michoacana. La Muchoacan. This is like La Muchoacana, pero... It has... Look okay. it. Dude, is this a fucking restaurant? They're getting so bad. Hey. I'm drunk, bro. So I'm dancing, y'all. Hey. <laughs> Y'all, we just left the nail salon not too long ago. Um, I finished getting my nails did. Shout out to my boyfriend. Shout out to my man. Shout out to my man, my man, my man. But yeah, guys, I got my nails done. Um, and now we're about to go to Target. And we're going to return some stuff. And then I don't know what else we're going to do. What are we going to do? Just walk around? Are you asking me? Yeah. Gee, I don't know. We'll see what the vibe is. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do, but... I know for tonight, we're going to order a little bit more Indian food, and we're going to eat Indian food, and then the leftover food from the night before, which is like some pizza, and it's so good, guys, the pizza's so good, but yeah, and then probably dessert on me, dessert on me, no, and what? You gotta pack it up, you gotta pack it up and be ready to get there tomorrow. Uh, dessert on me, dessert on me. Um, but yeah, y'all, we'll check back later on. This is us. We're freezing our butt tops off. I'm freezing right now. Freezing. Oh, I just picked my. I just poked my nose. I need to remember that I don't really get long nails like this as much anywhere. So I take it easy. Y'all, look at all of them chickens. They don't think she's about to get attacked right now. <laughs> Guys, we're going to go over that bridge. The lake is officially unfrozen. And it's moving. And grooving. <laughs> but, yeah, guys. Pretty much vibes on vibes on vibes. We just hit 420. 
Babe, you're about to go over the bridge. You're about to get over the bridge. <sighs> Y'all, when I say, I wish life could always feel like this, so like fresh of breath air vibes, like, you know. Colorado, Colorado. You guys, my phone found toilet when we went to the freaking restroom. But we're at Sonic's now, and we just got um, I got a Sonic little slush with nerds, and Leo got um, a milkshake. So yeah, and then we're gonna walk back home. But it looks super pretty outside. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, guys, I cannot believe I dropped my phone. I need to do another deep clean of my phone. It literally went full on in the toilet bowl and I had to full on submerge my hand in there to get it out. Yeah, it was disgusting. Your smaller items such as backpacks and jackets in the overhead compartment, if you could just please remove them to allow those passengers with a larger bags to accommodate that space so they can put their larger current luggage, that would be highly appreciated. You're more than welcome to put it back later on once we are done boarding. There will be space in between suitcases and on top of the suitcase for your smaller items. Also, folks, please utilize the space under the seat in front of you, such as backpacks and smaller Not purses. Bad. Just make sure they fit perfectly under. Guys, we officially made it to LAX. Um, back home, halfway. We're halfway there. Pretty much now, we just have to wait for um, Leo's aunt to come pick us up. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to fix the camera, but it's not working. But yeah, basically, we're waiting for Leo's Thea to come get us. I'm just gonna go like this. Um, then from that point, we're gonna try to drive to the Leo's car, go and get our old mail, and then go home. And then once we're home, it should be more chill. It should be chill once we're home. We're pretty much just gonna like get ready for the week. I'm gonna start grinding on my YouTube, so stay tuned. Also, guys, these are my nails. Oh my god, the class. But yeah, um, we'll go ahead and keep you guys updated throughout the video. And yeah, also, guys, I have this on my eye. Let me know in the comment down below if you know what this is because I don't know what it is, and I'm about to go get it checked out from a dermatologist because I don't know what it is. But yeah, bye, y'all. Y'all, right now we're waiting for Lino to pull up in the yachty. Um, we're literally standing outside. Uh, like pretty much where everybody gets picked up in LA. So like the buses drop you off right here to drop off to your airport. And then on this side, it's like where uh, the Ubers come. Like people that came just to pick you up, come pick you up here. Like all that stuff that happens here. So that's pretty much where we're waiting. There's hella traffic around here. It's not even crazy. Like, I'm not even tripping. Like, it's crazy traffic. Like, basically, we have to wait till he pulls up right here. And there's, like, three lanes. And then people still trying to drive to get away. So, yeah. Yeah, we got, we got scooped up. We finally got scooped up. I have to put our stuff in the thing fast. Oh, my God. 